Kuchok. President, please be seated. Président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. Reprise de l'audience. This afternoon, the chamber will hear the testimony of An Yuan. Cet après-midi, la chambre va entendre la déposition de An Yuan. Based on the request of this witness, conformément à la requête de ce témoin, the chamber assigned Chai Maridai. TBO staff to accompany the witness due to the witness health reason and because uh, she, the witness is a bit uh, um, frightened to the proceedings. So now the floor is given to the co-prosecutor to put questions. Co-prosecutor, good afternoon, Mr. President, Your Honours, and good afternoon, Mr. Mr. Madame Vines. I asked you some questions uh, already in the previous hearing, and I have some further questions. I want to know your age. How old are you this year? Answer. I am 56 years old this year. Réponse, j'ai 56 ans cette année. To my recollection, you told the court in the previous hearing that you are 60 years old. So again, could you clarify it again your age to the court? How old are you this year? Answer, my, I am uh, 55 years old, not 60, rather uh, 56, said the witness. I may have confused my age. Co-prosecutor, so I am now not so clear with in relation to your age. So can you tell the court of, of which year you were born? Answer, I cannot recall it, particularly the year of my birth since my uh, mom did not tell me about that. Co-prosecutor, so let me put an, uh, the question in a different way. Can you recall the event of 17 April 1975? Answer, no, I cannot recall it. Question. Question. As it is widely known by the masses about the fall of Phnom Penh, do you recall when Phnom Penh, Phnom Penh failed? Phnom Penh Answer. Phnom Penh fell in 1975. Phnom Penh est tombé en 1975. Question. So now, Question. Bien. I want to ask you about the event of that year, 1975. Vous so how old were you in 1975? Answer. 
I do not know, Mr. Co-Prosecutor. I did not, uh, you know, pay my attention to my age in that year. Question. Question. You were assigned to work in different locations. So can you Vous tell the court, uh, uh, were you assigned to be part of the youth unit or children's unit? Answer, I was in the mobile unit since I was a full-fledged. Question. So can you give an estimate to the court? So whether you were 10 years old, 20 years old, or how old were you that year? I was around 10 years old. I was about, I was over 10 years old, rather. Correction from the interpreter, I was uh, around 15 years old. Question. So now, I am asking you about the period of 1975 when uh, Fell. And the period was also the start of the Democratic Campuchia. Can you tell the court whether there were Vietnamese uh, living in your village and commune? Answer, no. Question. You stated that there were no Vietnamese uh, in your village and commune. So my Vous next question is, did you ever see Vietnamese uh, living in other villages and communes after the fall of Phnom Penh? Answer, no, no Vietnamese after the fall of Phnom Penh. Question, what about the period before the fall of Phnom Penh? Did you ever see a Vietnamese living in the com in communes and in other places that you used to reside in. Answer. There were no Vietnamese uh, in villages and communes, but I saw them living uh, close to the border when I was in the mobile unit. Question. So where was the base or the work site which your mobile unit was assigned to work? Answer. I was uh, working in Dong, location near Vietnamese border. Mobile units, members of mobile units were afraid of the Vietnamese, although we were living in different the country. Question. You stated that you saw Vietnamese people, so is it correct to say that uh, those Vietnamese people were living in their country on the other side of the border? Is that correct? Answer, it is correct. Uh, we are living in our own country and they are living in the other side of the border working. We could not 
uh, cross into uh, Vietnam and they could not also cross into Cambodia either. Question. You have just told Question. the court that uh, you saw Vietnam is uh, on the other side of the border that is in their country. My question about Vietnam is to ask you whether or not there were Vietnamese living within the territory of Cambodia. So please limit your response to my question. So now let me reformulate my question. Did you ever see Vietnamese living and working in the location where you were assigned to work after the fall of Phnom Penh? Answer. I never saw Vietnamese people. Question. To refresh your memory, I am now quoting your statement that you gave to the DC CAM in 2005, document E3-75-25, Eon in Khmer, 00-08-96-29, French, 00-90-30-85, 00-08-TH-50-15. That is the English Eon. You were asked by the interviewer how many Vietnamese were taken away and, and your answer is, I do not know. I was living in my own village and I was transferred from a Kampong Trolite to live in that location. The next question. So you were transferred from a Kampong Trolite, weren't you? And your answer is yes, I was transferred from Kampong and then you were asked uh, how many Ensuite, Vietnamese uh, were taken away. And uh, you stated that uh, four families, a few Vietnamese uh, family, four families of Vietnamese uh, were seen by you. Presentation. Answer. I cannot recall it, Mr. Co-Prosecutor, since it happened uh, a Mr. long time ago. So I want to ask you a location. Do you know Prejo? Answer, yes, I know that location, Prey Jo. Réponse, oui, je connais cet endroit, Prey Jo. Question, where was Prey Jo? Question, et où se trouvait Prey Jo? Prey Jo was situated to the west of Prum Strat. Prey Jo était à l'ouest de Prum Strat. Question, what commune and district 
were, was Prejo situated. Answer. Prejo was in uh, Chere commune to the Chiray. west of Chera. Question, what about this district? What district was Prejo in? Answer. Prejo was located to the west of Chera. It was in Chere commune. So, if compared to uh, the location where you worked and lived, so how far was it from uh, the place where you worked to that location? Answer. It was about five kilometers away from each other. I am question. I'm not quite clear, Madame Winnes. I am now referring to the village you were residing in before 1975. So how far was it from your residence before the fall of Phnom Penh and Prejo? Answer. It was about five kilometers away from my house. Question. So now, can you tell the court once again whether Prejo was in the same village, commune, district, and province as you lived? Answer. Prejo was in Chere commune. In Chere commune, and as for my house, it was in uh, Trai. Question. Was it in the same Romi Hai district, Swai Rieng province, or was it in a different province? Answer. It was in Chere commune, the same private uh, Swairiang province. So uh, it was in the same province, Swairiang. Question. So if uh, one m make mention about Prey Jaw, so do you know, does uh, Prey Jaw has anything to do with the Vietnamese people? Savez-vous si Prey Jaw a quoi que ce soit à voir avec les Vietnamiens? No. I cannot uh, recall what happened. Non, je ne me I pas know that passé. there uh, was a location named Prey Chow, but I do not know whether that location had anything to do uh, with the Vietnamese traditionally. Co-prosecutor, to refresh your memory, I am now quoting your statement in the same document E375-25 e in command 0008-95-98 Mr. President, please ask the co-prosecutor to repeat the E on again. You were asked by an interviewer about the Vietnamese uh, family, whether there were Vietnamese family uh, living in your location. President, uh, you have the floor now, uh, counsel for Mr. Kiel Sampong. 
Oui, Monsieur le Président, je ne sais pas si yes, c'est seulement Mr. en français, mais nous n'avons pas eu les ERN. Mais nous n'avons pas eu les ERN, donc vous pouvez s'il vous plaît répéter les ERN, Monsieur le Président. Uh, yeah, and you have a to French ERN is 00903083. Now, let me quote. You answered, there were no Vietnamese living in the area. Although there were, they had been taken to Prejo. If there were Vietnamese, uh, those Vietnamese uh, uh, were sent to Prejo, Prejo translation. Does this refresh your memory, Madame Winnet? What happened to the Vietnamese living in Preicho? I cannot recall it, Mr. Co-Prosecutor, since it happened a long time ago. My memory does not serve me well. They disappeared uh, after uh, going through Preicho. Ils ont disparu après avoir été à Preicho. Question. You have stated that Question. they had gone and they disappeared after they went to that location. So who are you referring to? President, uh, please wait, Madame Winnes. You have a floor now, Cooper. Um, thank you, Mr. President. Um, just for all clarity, um, the document, the DCCM statement that the prosecution is referring to is an interview uh, with someone else. It's not the interview um, of um, a person called In Hung. Presumably, she is uh, the neighbor that is introduced uh, at the very end of that interview, because uh, it says In Hung. But uh, considering her answers, um, in relation to what this In Yung has, or the neighbor In Yung has, has, has testified to, I'm not 100% sure whether we are in fact dealing with the same person. Now, I don't know if In Yung is a very common name in those er in that area, but um, I think it might be worthwhile um, going into it, considering the completely um, different answers as, as, as compared to that last part of this particular interview. Mr. President, so I'm not sure that there's really an ambiguity here, insofar that uh, indeed this neighbor here pendant l'entretien who speaks during the interview personne du centre de documentation du given by the DC camp people with the so named Chankia. this neighbor is identified towards the end of the interview as being in you at the hearing at the last hearing the question was put to her about her husband's name and she said Chankia. So this is in reality the person who was being interviewed by DCCAM. So I think that should be sufficiently clear to solve all misunderstandings. But later on, I'll get back to the content of the statements that do not match. President. Can the co-prosecutors clarify the issue once again? This is your assumption that uh, the neighbor in the document uh, is the witness, or uh, is there any, are there any written records of the interview of uh, the witness since uh, there are no questions seeking clarification on the issue yet? Uh, Co-prosecutor, uh, 
Mr. President, based on document E3 slash 7525, there is neighbor in the document, and the interviewee is Chan Kier. But to the end of uh, the interview, on page 46 in Khmer and French 00. 90, 30, 87, English 00, 49, uh, 50, uh, 16. And there was, there's the name Un Yuen. And the interviewee in the previous pages is Chan Kia. And to my recollection, I recall, I, I recall that the witness said her husband's name is Jan Kier. So to my understanding Donc, is that dit, uh, there were two people during, two interviewees during the interview, and uh, at the beginning the interviewer did not realize that uh, the woman was the uh, wife to the first interviewee. That is why I used uh, this document to, de, to examine the witness before the chamber president. I want to make it clear in relation to the individual who is now testifying before the chamber. So how is she related to uh, Chan Ki? And what was the involvement of this uh, witness in that interview. So now the defense is confused of uh, the document that you used to examine this witness. So co-prosecutor, please uh, make it clear so that everyone, including the public, can understand uh, why the document you are using is related to this witness. Co-prosecutor. Thank you, Mr. President. Madam Witness, do you recall you uh, were interviewed in 2005? No, I was never interviewed in 2005. It was my husband who was interviewed, so this is wrong to conclude that I was the one who was interviewed. In fact, uh, my husband wants to uh, come to the court, but I do not know, do know how come my, I was the one who was summoned by the court. Question. So was it your husband who was interviewed? Answer, yes, he was. Réponse, oui. And my husband actually really wants uh, to, to be here. Venir ici. And I actually asked about that. I said that Et it was not proper for me to testify. It should be my husband. Question. Did you actually uh, say something Question. during Mais your husband's interview? Mais avez-vous dit quelque chose pendant l'audition ou l'interview de votre mari? And uh, yes, I said uh, something. Oui, j ai, j ai dit certaines choses. And in fact, there was an old man who was then who actually spoke more than I spoke. Et puis il a parlé plus que moi. Question. So besides the old Question. man, ce, was there any vieillant. other uh, female neighbor y avait -il une who voisine participated in the interview? Qui elle aussi a participé à l'interview? And so, no, there was uh, the old man non, and uh, myself. Et moi. Question, so allow me to clarify. Donc, During the interview, interview, you refer to the old man that is your husband Le and homme, votre mari. yourself, right? Et vous, ça? Answer, yes. Réponse, oui. Question, and uh, besides you, there was no other uh, woman who was there during the interview. Question, y a pas Is that vous, correct? Y pas femmes pendant interview? And so I forget Réponse. half of what happened. Passé. 
as it uh, happened a long time ago and I cannot recall it, uh, et that je well. Souviens pas très bien. Question. I'd like to uh, confirm with Question. you that uh, besides you, during the interview, si there was no other woman who was there. Am I correct? Pas Est bien le cas? Answer. Réponse. There were some other children, male and female children, who were there during the interview. There were quite a few uh, older children and oui, some younger children, and I myself was there with uh, my ta or my husband. Là avec mon ta, mon, mon mari. Deputy Co Prosecutor, Mr. President, we relied on your wisdom based on her statement whether it is her who was there during the interview of this person, President. It is your a time to seek clarification to make sure that this is the right witness who is to testify. And of course, you've been in the, this legal business for quite some time, and you should know that it would be very strange to call a neighbor to testify rather than the person who was interviewed. And uh, based on the principle, the document should be used only for the interviewee and not uh, somebody who actually eavesdropped or who was there. De la personne qui avait été interviewé ou faire And whether you should proceed with this or not, this is your methodology. Participer à la conversation. And I noticed that the defense team is on mm -hmm. his feet. You may proceed, uh, Councilor. Council, 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 oh, thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur le Président. I'd like to make uh, some observations based on what the witness uh, just stated. In document E3-7525, there is a mentioning of a neighbor, and in this document, the neighbor is not uh, just her. From what she said, there was and uh, older men, and there were also some other children who actually uh, might have uh, spoken during the interview. Although toward the end of the uh, document, uh, there is a mention of a name Ndjung. It does not necessarily mean that all the statements by neighbor is her statement. This is a rather confusing statement. So we relied on your wisdom to clarify this matter. President, the Prosecution, you uh, may continue, but then you should be clear whether she is the person who knows about the content of this interview in particular in relation to the event concerning the Vietnamese under the DK period. And if you request to, for someone to be pacified without knowing the event, uh, that would be out of the question. Plutôt, il est hors de question de faire comparaître quelqu'un qui ne sait rien des événements en question. Effectivement, Monsieur le Président, je rappelle tout de même que c'est un témoin de la Chambre. Euh, pour répondre à, aux remarques qui ont été faites, parce que je crois qu'il faut répondre, des questions de clarification ont été posées. Il a été clarifié que le vieil homme dont il est question, c'est bien son mari, Chan Kier. Il n'y avait pas d'autres femmes qui étaient présentes, il y avait seulement des enfants. Et elle a également dit qu'elle avait participé à cette interview, qu'elle avait donné certaines réponses. C'est ce que je viens d'entendre. Dans ces conditions, nous considérons que la voisine dont il est question dans cet entretien est bien la personne qui est ici présente. 
dealt with in this interview is the present is the person being present. Concernant ce que cette dame a dit devant so, le CDCAM. Merci, Monsieur le Président. We can ask questions regarding what that woman told DC Cam, Mr. President. Councillor Copper, do you have the floor? Uh, a small observation, Mr. President. Of course, I have no objection at all if the prosecution continues asking questions. But, um, if it's unclear whether she actually said that, then, of course, the prosecution cannot say, well, you said this or confront her with what she might have possibly said. It's very clear that she doesn't know anything about the Vietnamese. It's very clear that she doesn't know anything about the Vietnamese. It's very clear that she doesn't know anything about the Vietnamese. It's very clear that she doesn't know anything about the Vietnamese. It's very clear that she doesn't know anything about the Vietnamese. C'est assez dangereux de lui présenter ces déclarations, car je crois sincèrement que ce n'est pas elle qui dit cela, qui n'a pas fait ces déclarations dans le document. Président, le co-procureur, vous pouvez résumer votre questionnement. Mais vous devez clarifier. Uh, the matter clearly, and then the witnesses that you propose should be related to the scope of the proceedings in this case. Sur les and if there is a mistake in uh, calling her to testify, si then you should clarify faite, this matter now so that we can move on to the next witness. Tout de suite pour que passer au prochain témoin. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Je vais essayer de you, clarifier encore une fois les choses avec Madame. Pour être tout à fait certain, euh, Madame, lorsque votre mari Chan Ki a été entendu, est-ce que vous avez également parlé lors de cet entretien Did avec l'enquêteur Issa Osman Est-ce que vous êtes Osman? intervenu Vous avez répondu à certaines des questions Answer some of the questions In addition to your husband, did you give any details and information to the person who came to conduct the interview? I cannot recall whether I spoke during the interview. Madame le témoin, vers la fin Madame de l'entretien, vous souvenez-vous que you that Ousmane, la personne qui est venue interroger Ousmane, votre mari, vous a demandé votre nom Je vais peut-être essayer encore, Monsieur le Président, avec quelques questions President, précises pour I'll voir si nous arrivons à obtenir questions des, des réponses. Je vais peut-être essayer de reprendre depuis euh, le début. Let me start vous avez dit que été affecté à une, une, une unité itinérante that you were assigned à peu près 15 ans to a mobile en 1975. And you were aged about 15 in 1975. Pouvez-vous nous dire si à l'époque il y avait des unités itinérantes pour des adolescents units for et également d'autres unités itinérantes pour jeunes adultes mobile y avait une distinction entre les adultes. I would like us to make a distinction between the two. The uh, youth was uh, assigned to a group, the children was assigned to another group, and the females was assigned to yet a separate group. Troisième groupe. Et à partir de quel âge les membres des unités mobiles? Pouvait y rentrer. À, 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 à partir de quel âge pouvait-on rentrer dans une unité mobile Join a mobile unit. Que vous vous souvenez de cet âge Do you remember that age? Pas l'unité mobile des enfants, mais l'unité mobile des adolescents. I'm not talking of the children's mobile unit, but the mobile unit for adolescents. The The youth mobile unit, unité mobile uh, aged from 15 and above. Âgé de 15 ans et plus. 
Est-ce que vous vous souvenez d'avoir dit à cette personne du, qui est venue interroger votre mari la chose husband, suivante et pour que le parti puisse suivre, c'est à la page 15 on page en 15, français, in French, 15 en anglais, 15 in English, la déclaration E3 and bar the 7, E3 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 2019, Bien. Est-il correct well. de dire que les gens, Is it correct une fois qu'ils étaient mariés, ne travaillaient plus Once Dans les people unités who are itinérantes, married, they no longer worked in the mobile units. For those who were uh, members of the mobile unit, after they got married, mobile, they would be sent to live in the cooperatives. Est-ce que les conditions de travail et de vie dans les unités itinérantes étaient plus well, dures working conditions que and dans living les conditions in the mobile normal. units harder than in normal units of cooperatives? The nature of work in the mobile unit was harder than the, the conditions of uh, the cooperative. Le travail était plus dur que dans les coopératives. The food at the cooperative was better than the food for the mobile unit. As at the mobile unit, we did not have enough food to eat. Usually, we only ate part of the banana stalk and the trunk. Pelure de banane ainsi que le rameau. Et concernant ce sujet, and still on this matter, en raison du fait que dans les unités de coopératives, les conditions étaient meilleures, est-ce qu'il y avait des jeunes units, gens living qui se portaient volontaires pour better. se marier Were there any Pour pouvoir passer l'unité itinérante à l'unité de coopérative où les conditions étaient meilleures units, conditions mm. were were from the cooperative and married those Des in the cooperative. Yes, uh, there were a few instances. Sometimes uh, there was a, a married uh, ceremony for two or three uh, couples. Pour deux ou trois couples. Vous êtes bien sûr d'avoir compris et de pouvoir bien vous identifier in order to be sure that I've properly uh, understood uh, what you're saying and that we can mari. identify et who was the neighbor un passage de ce qu'a dit la voisine I will quote a passage dans ce document E3 bar 7527 à la page 26 en français slash en anglais page 26 57, et en Khmer page 26, and in Khmer, pardon, je vais donner l'URN en français parce qu'il n'existe pas le numéro de page n'existe pas alors c'est 009 03 03 069 069 en anglais, 0088-4999-99. Et en Khmer, 000-008-9-612-612-613. Voilà ce qu'a dit euh, ma voisine qui a participé à cet entretien. Je cite, « Les gens voulaient se marier parce qu'après leur mariage, parce qu'après leur mariage, il repassait de l'unité mobile à la coopérative. Cela explique pourquoi That il y a eu beaucoup de divorces. divorces. Question, y a-t-il eu des Question. cas de personnes contraintes de se marier ensemble alors qu'elles ne le voulaient pas together, they didn't want to get La voisine a répondu non. And the answer, the neighbor answered, Et plus loin, no. il est mentionné, les gens And voulaient se marier. Parce qu'ils voulaient retourner à la coopérative. Dans les coopératives, le travail était plus léger. 
in the cooperatives, the work was lighter. For instance, they transported a bag of rice. So people wanted to get married in order to be transferred again to the cooperative. And of course, that was a free translation. During the call, saying that during the interview, Mr. Osman had with your husband, Chankia, a DC com. Yes, that's what I answered. C'est ce que j'ai dit. Monsieur le Président, avec ces premières questions, je crois qu'il est President, assez clair qu'il s'agit de la même personne qui a participé à cet entretien. Questions, Et donc, je vais poursuivre et essayer de clarifier les questions qui se posent au niveau du traitement des Vietnamiens. Madame le témoin, dans votre Witness, unité itinérante, vous avez dit que vous aviez travaillé à différents endroits. Est-ce qu'il y avait des gens d'origine vietnamienne, des jeunes filles d'origine vietnamienne dans Young cette unité itinérante, ou des filles ou des couples unit, Khmero vietnamiens qui travaillaient avec mixed couples, eux Est-ce qu'il y en avait That is, Vietnamese and Cambodian couples working in that your mobile unit. There were uh, Khmer soldiers Give this soldat who were members Khmer. of the uh, mobile unit, Membre de unit and they uh, lived in the uh, village. But I did not Et see any uh, Vietnamese soldiers. Je crois qu'il y a une confusion. Je ne parlais pas de I think there's a mix-up somewhere. Je voulais simplement I wasn't dire talking les autres jeunes filles de 15 ans ou plus, à peu près de votre âge, qui travaillaient avec vous, above, est-ce que parmi elles, qui ont des civils, you, pas des soldats, est-ce qu'il y avait uh, des group, personnes d'origine vietnamienne ou soldiers. mixtes Did you have any persons of Vietnamese Dans le papa était Khmer et la maman origin. vietnamienne, par exemple. For instance, whose father was Khmer and the mother Vietnamese um, no, no. There was none. Il n'y en avait pas. Je voudrais réessayer de, de citer I'll try again ce qui semble être ce que vous avez dit. To quote what you appear to have said. Au CDCAM, document E3, DCCAM par document 7, E3, 5, 2, 5, 5, à propos de euh, la famille vietnamienne. Two, five. Transféré depuis Regarding Vietnamese families. C'était la page en français 00903 French page is 00903085. En anglais, en anglais, la page 00880-5014-15. Et en Khmer, ça serait réparti, je crois, sur à peu près trois pages. 000 89 8, 9, 6, 2, 8, 6 to 8, jusqu'à 30. Up to 30. La question qui est posée par la personne du est la suivante. The question asked by the DC Et je lis la traduction française. Je peux comprendre qu'il qu y avait peut-être des questions de traduction également. Je vais d'abord lire cette version française. Vous souvenez-vous du nombre de Vietnamiens arrêtés dans le village Vous souvenez-vous du nombre de Vietnamiens arrêtés dans le village Vous souvenez-vous du nombre de Vietnamiens arrêtés dans le village Vous souvenez-vous du nombre de Vietnamiens arrêtés dans le village Vous souvenez-vous du nombre de Vietnamiens arrêtés dans le village Vous souvenez-vous du nombre de Vietnamiens arrêtés dans le village Vous souvenez-vous du nombre de Vietnamiens arrêtés dans le village Vous souvenez-vous du nombre de Vietnamiens arrêtés dans le village Vous souvenez-vous du nombre de Vietnamiens arrêtés dans le village Vous souvenez-vous du nombre de Vietnamiens arrêtés dans le village Vous souvenez-vous du nombre de Vietnamiens arrêtés dans le village Vous souvenez-vous du nombre de Vietnamiens arrêtés dans le village Vous souvenez-vous du nombre de Vietnamiens arrêtés dans le village Vous souvenez-vous du nombre de Vietnamiens arrêtés dans le village Vous souvenez-vous du nombre de Vietnamiens arrêtés dans le village Vous souvenez-vous du nombre de Vietnamiens arrêtés dans le village Vous souvenez-vous du nombre de Vietnamiens Question de Ousmane. Ils avaient Question été transférés de Kampong Trak. Were they transferred from Kampong Trak? La voisine, qu'on pense être vous, a répondu. Oui, yourself, ils avaient été transférés de Kampong Trak. Yes, they were transferred from Kampong Trak. Je saute un passage. And I skip Je ne me souviens passage. pas du nombre de I familles do not vietnamiennes qui ont été transférées dans mon village. Vietnamese families. Oh, je dirais qu'environ quatre were familles ont été transférées dans mon village. Le village de Trakip-Kdam. Trakip Après leur village. transfert dans mon village, After elles ont été arrêtées et emmenées. Village, je me souviens d'une Vietnamienne qui away. pleurait abominablement d'être séparée de son mari, lui aussi en larmes. 
Et plus loin, la voisine précise, ils ont été arrêtés environ un mois après avoir été transférés dans ce village. Est-ce que vous vous souvenez avoir déclaré qu'il y avait quatre familles d'origine vietnamienne qui avaient été transférées de Kampong Trak vers votre village et qui ensuite avaient été arrêtées Non, j'ai oublié. Bien. Je ne me souviens pas de cela. Vous avez évoqué euh, à cette occasion de cet entretien On a évoqué le nom de votre tante, en tout cas la dame qui a a parlé d'une tante qui s'appelait Ming Gam. Ming Gam N-G-A-M. Est-ce que cette personne fait partie de votre famille? Is that person a member of your family? No, I did not have any relative no. by the name of Ming Gam. Je n'ai pas de tante Ngam. Mr. Cooper, ben voilà, M. le Président, je pense que c'est bien évident, ce n'est pas elle. Je pense qu'il faudra peut-être mettre fin à cet exercice avant qu'il y ait des questions générales. Il n'y a aucune raison de faire référence à ce document, car ce n'est pas Et n'oublions pas qu'il s'agit là d'un interview du Centre de documentation du Cambodge. Les voisins ne sont pas identifiés, il n'y a pas plus de bonnes procédures qui ont été en place pour voir si cet entretien avait été fait de façon appropriée au point de vue juridique. Je dis qu'il faut mettre fin à ceci. Oui, Monsieur le Président, pour donner une base légale, uh, yes. je porter uh, la position de mon confrère, uh, uh, je renvoie à l'arrêt de 93 du règlement intérieur, qui dit que les coprocureurs et les autres parties et leurs avocats provides that the co-prosecutor and other parties may examine a witness whose uh, statement is, is only, only persons de, whose statements are deemed uh, useful for the manifestation of the truth. And les, les, this being the case, les, Mr. President, de ce témoin we find présent, that the answers given by the witness so far will not lead to the manifestation of the truth based on the statements that uh, uh, the co-prosecutor is using. Mr. President, I asked a number of questions that have nothing to do with this subject, precisely to establish the fact that this is a person in question. The answers given are in line with what we find in this DC um, interview record. Là, effectivement, elle the exception pas pour of le the moment. subject of Vietnamese. Um, je voudrais simplement rappeler que les entretiens du CDK ont été en fait, sont confirmed faits, this so far, euh, sont enregistrés, puis I must sont point out that the uh, uh, records of interview nous, nous le voyons, of, uh, the DC me semble assez clair tout de même que transcribed, cette femme est bien celle qui a été quite clear that this Donc, woman je voudrais, is a person who was interviewed, so I would like to continue putting some questions to the witness regarding members of her family to know specifically whether she has an aunt of Chinese or Vietnamese origin in her family. Thank you. President, what about the political lawyers for civil parties? Do you wish to make your observation whether we should continue hearing the testimony of the witness or we had to uh, release her? Merci, Monsieur le Président. J'avais personnellement you, un, un document que I je souhaitais utiliser, qui n'est pas l'interview CDCAM dont nous parlons depuis le début de cette après-midi, qui est le document E3-7816, qui est le PV d'audition d'une personne du même village que Madame le témoin, et je voulais simplement confronter le témoin aux déclarations de cette personne qui a vu des choses en 1977 
euh, concernant le segment qui nous occupe aujourd'hui. Donc c'est le document E3 7816. Je ne sais pas du tout si euh, madame va être en mesure de nous dire quelque chose par rapport à ce témoignage, mais je souhaitais simplement l'utiliser pour la faire réagir. Et nous avons prévu de poser quelques questions sur euh, euh, les mariages forcés, puisque cela fait partie des informations qui étaient contenues dans le document CDCAM et que madame vient de confirmer euh, en réponse aux questions du procureur. Donc nous nous en rapportons, M. le Président, mais de notre côté, nous avions quelques questions prosecutor. à poser. So, we, for our part, have some questions to put to the witness, Mr. President. President, le Président, the Chamber decides to hear uh, testimony of this witness. However, the uh, co-prosecutors and the leader co-lawyers for civil parties la Chambre demande aussi aux co-avocats principaux pour de ne pas utiliser l'interview du CDCAM qui a eu lieu en 2005. Car sa participation à cette interview n'est tout simplement pas claire. And you should not put questions through her in relation to her general knowledge. Vous ne devez pas lui poser des questions quant à On the, uh, ses connaissances générales facts in case 002 relevant 002. de la portée des faits. You might put some question to her in order to uh, make sure whether Vous devez that will contribute to ascertaining the truth in this case. De la you may continue, uh, co-prosecutor. Monsieur le vous pouvez poursuivre. Merci, le Président. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I won't use up too much time. I still would like to ask you in generic terms uh, if between 1975 and 1979, uh, when the DK forces were occupying your region, if you heard anything about the fate à des gens de that was meted Vietnamien out to people of Vietnamese origin who were living in that area or to people who mixed, came from Khmer, mixed families, Khmero, that is to say Khmero Vietnamese families. Did you learn anything about what happened to them? No, I did not know anything about that. No, I didn't know anything about that. Monsieur le Président, nous Mr. President, uh, we have no further questions. I believe that uh, the civil parties might have a few questions to put to this witness and might want to confront uh, this witness with other testimonies from the same village uh, in which names are mentioned, so the witness may react to that. Thank you, Mr. President. President, now civil party lawyers can proceed. 
Merci, Monsieur le Thank Président. you, Mr. President. Uh, good afternoon Bonjour, to all of you. Good afternoon, witness. My name is Marie Guiraud. I represent uh, the collective of uh, civil parties uh, in uh, this uh, case. Très, très And I have a few very uh, brief questions to put to you. Et je voulais savoir And si I wanted to know if you knew a uh, so named Prum Yan, Prum Yan, who lives in your village in Chompling. Does this name chose. ring a bell? Pour les And P for the interpreters, the name is P R U M and they Y A N, Prum Yan. Does that ring a bell? Sorry, I know this individual very clearly. Um, that person said, uh, walk past my house almost every day, and uh, that person said, uh, he or she uh, wanted to come to this court to testify before the chamber. And uh, that person, Ta, uh, says that suggested that uh, I should not come to testify before the chamber. Instead, he wants to come to the court. Thank you. Did you know a man in your commune by the name of Tep? Does the name Tep ring a bell? Un monsieur This votre is commune a gentleman et qui living in your commune who apparently married or who was married with a woman who was chose. half Vietnamese. Does that ring a bell? Answer, I do not know this person. I really do not know this person. I know clearly and very well from Uh, Jan, not the indi individual that you last described. Je vous remercie. Je vais Thank vous you. I'm going citer to now um, de la Chambre et des parties. quote ce qu'a dit what Proumian uh, said ce, regarding de ce, de, this um, et de son épouse. gentleman Tep and his wife. Je and um, donc un I'm going to la therefore read question. out a segment here, the du first question de Proumian, of uh, Proumian's WRI document E3 slash 78 So it's the first question in both languages because, languages because uh, en this et en Khmer. Uh, document only exists in English and in Khmer. Et Proumian, and Proumian, whom you know, therefore says, et je fais une signe, une traduction libre en, en and français, I'm going to give you a free French translation, is that in 1977, he saw a lady, a woman of... If you want to refer to any documents, uh, please identify clearly your number in three languages. You have the floor now, Council, uh, for Mr. Kirsten-Paul. I, um, I apologize for interrupting my colleague, but the document does exist in French, uh, so therefore we can avoid here a free translation. Uh, I, I can show her my copy, but in French the ERN is, of the page in question is 00339878740. If we're speaking indeed about document E37816, So maybe with the assistance uh, of uh, the court officer, a, co a French copy could be given to the civil party lawyer. It might be uh, easier to proceed this way. I would like to thank my colleague and therefore I'd like to say that it's the first question in all three languages. This is why I didn't give the ERN, but the ERN must be 002. 77273 in Khmer, 23 in Khmer, correct interpreter, 00092928388 in English, et donc 00 and therefore 00339874 in French. Et c'est donc uh, Proumian, Madame le témoin, qui est Proumian, entendu uh, who is being et qui indique uh, en 1977, j'ai vu une femme métisse vietnamienne dont j'ai oublié le nom, dont le mari s'appelait Tep, décédé il y a trois ans. Ainsi 
qu'un enfant qui était arrêté et emmené par les militaires du district. Trois militaires du district non identifiés avaient braqué leur fusil sur cette femme aux environs du village de Kla Le, commune de Kampong Trak, district de Romeas Ek, province de Sveiring, pour la forcer à marcher dans la direction du bureau du district de Romeas Ek, situé dans le village de Prey Domlung, commune de Kampong Trak, district de Romeas Ek, province de Sveiring. Je ne savais pas ce qui s'était passé avec les autres familles vietnamiennes. Je voulais vous lire cet extrait, Madame Témoin, pour savoir si l'histoire décrite par Ploumian ou le nom de Tep vous disait quelque chose ou si cela ne vous dit pas. J'en ai entendu parler. Cette personne était à moitié chinoise et a été arrêtée et a été arrêtée par la suite. La femme de Kim Soon. Elle était à moitié chinoise Chinese and uh, married a Cambodian uh, man. Prum Yan did make mention about the point, and I uh, only said what he told me. Vous parlez aujourd'hui d'une personne qui était métisse chinoise. Ma question portait sur une personne qui aurait été métisse vietnamienne et qui aurait été mariée avec un dénommé Tep, qui était Khmer. Est-ce que cette histoire vous est familière ou non Est-ce que cette histoire est familière à vous But as I said, she was half blooded Chinese, and later on, she married a Cambodian man. And the killing did happen, and the statement was based on that incident. Et cette personne métisse chinoise dont vous parlez, avait-elle un, un enfant à l'époque qui aurait été emmené vers le bureau du district en même temps qu'elle par les soldats du district Est-ce que ça, c'est une information aussi que vous connaissez Cette personne n'a pas été prise au bureau du district, mais au bureau du district, mais au bureau du district, mais au bureau du district. I did not know why that person was brought to break jaw, and I did not know too what happened to this person. Is an event that you witnessed personally back then, or is this something that you just heard about in particular through Prumyan? Is this something that you just heard about in particular through Prumyan? told me about that. He came to my house and told that account to the one who recorded the statement during the interview. Yes. And is it Prumyan who told you that this person was half-blooded Chinese in Khmer, or is this something that you knew before you spoke to Prumyan? And discussed. About a mixed race Vietnamese child, he made mention that account at my house. Et il a fait mention de cela chez moi. Je 
juste pour essayer de bien comprendre votre réponse, sure Madame Le Témoin. Il aurait donc parlé so de deux personnes, une femme métisse chinoise qui aurait été emmenée à Playchok et un enfant vietnamien, à ce que je comprends bien, ce que vous dites aujourd'hui. Le père a été taken away first and the child was taken later on after uh, the child was kept with the father. Et vous vous souvenez aujourd'hui que Kunyan vous a indiqué que cet enfant était vietnamien. vietnamien. Est-ce que j'ai bien compris ou est-ce que right? j'ai mal compris votre Or réponse did I not He said the child was a migrant child, and uh, from Yan came to my house to tell their story uh, to the lawyer, said uh, the witness. And because he witnessed the incident, he told the story to those who were present at my house. Juste pour, euh, pour clarifier Just ce point, sure si je comprends this. bien, Pumyan well, a été interrogé sur ces faits dans votre maison. Est-ce que je comprends bien le sens de votre témoignage so, aujourd'hui was interviewed, uh, Prumyan was also at my house during the interview. Je m'arrêterai là, Monsieur le Président, I will stop here, Mr. President, uh, regarding this event, and I will have a few uh, short follow-up questions uh, on what the witness uh, described to the international co-prosecutor, that is to say, marriages uh, during the decay regime. J'en ai pour une dizaine de minutes. This will take me about 10 minutes, si Mr. President. So I don't know if I should put my questions right now or if I should do so after the break. President. Very well. So now we take a short break first. But before we take the short break, the chamber has already sent an email La Chambre a déjà envoyé un email to parties au parti. regarding the hearing to hear the request of a motion of the defense team Nguyen Chia. The defense team for Mr. Nguyen Chia requested to admit some documents into K002-02 so that those documents can be used in the examination of a, an expert to see to TCE 95 next week. And the chamber is scheduled to hear the submission from the defense team for Mr. Nguyen Chia tomorrow at the end of the testimony of this witness. So now, the chamber would like to ask party whether or not uh, parties can uh, submit and make oral responses to the request by Nguyen Chia since the request uh, was uh, filed only in English. Perhaps the hearing of responses and, and submission may, may uh, continue after the end of the testimony of the witness. So now I would like to hear uh, the idea and opinion from uh, co-prosecutor, President. Now it is the plan of the chamber to hear the two motion of the defense team for Mr. Nguyen Chia to admit into evidence some document in 
to K002-2 and those documents are to be used in the examination of an expert 2TCE95 scheduled to testify next week. And I believe and guess that uh, the testimony of this witness may uh, conclude, may be concluded very soon. So I would like to know whether parties can uh, be ready to submit and the responses and also the requests concerning uh, what I have just told this afternoon. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, we indeed received uh, these requests yesterday. Normally, we were going to speak tomorrow, but uh, since we have a break right now, I'm going to ask uh, my colleague who was supposed to speak about this to come this afternoon so that we may discuss it at the end of the witness's testimony. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, we had prepared ourselves to make short observations tomorrow morning, but of course uh, we will comply uh, with what is organized and we will take advantage of the break uh, to prepare. So it's possible for us. President, very good then. It is now time for a short break. The Chamber will take a short break from now until 3 p.m. Court officer, please assist the witness in the waiting room during the break time, and please uh, invite him, her back, together with the uh, TBO staff into the courtroom at 3. The court is now in recess.